Hi guys. So my name is Teja Lawrence and I'm the founder and main tutor at Pure Line Tutoring Services. And today I want to start or put forward our very first um, series that I'll be posting on our YouTube channel. The series is called 10 Minute Topic and it will be continuing every Tuesday. So every Tuesday, this is what you can look forward to. So 10 minutes, give or take. Sometimes it may be more, sometimes it may be a little less, depending on the topic, the question, how much information is necessary. Next, we're going to be doing questions, whether from CSEC or IGC past papers, it's basically the same um, material that is required for us to know. So the mixing and in between the both of them, doing one question per session. And the material that you are going to get being the information that I am going to give, it is solely based on the necessary information that you need to answer the question. So it's not going to be the entire topic that we're going to be doing within this session or these sessions. So it's essentially like a glimpse into what you'll be getting in our classes or what our students get and also what we do within our past paper sessions. So I do hope you enjoy. Um, as we move along, you can leave comments in the section below, letting us know what questions you would like us to do next, and we move forward. So every Tuesday, we'll be right here. So the first topic we're going to be doing today is the digestive system and it's C secret. I'm gonna just get my pointer. Right. So the time actually starts now for the 10 minutes. We we'll skip that introduction there. So what are we going to be discussing today? We look or touch on types of nutrition, the accessory digestive organs, the digestive system, and then finally you get to answering that question. So humans utilize what type of nutrition? What type of nutrition do we use? How do we get our food? Well, unlike plants, we are not autotrophs. We cannot make our own food. Therefore, we have to depend on eating other organisms like plants or other animals to get the required nutrients that we need. If we want to be more specific, humans utilize a holozoic nutrition. And any organism that uses this type of nutrition, it usually involves them having to ingest the food, which is going to be internally broken down. And that's this whole topic of digestion. And what the digestion is going to be taking place in or where it's going to be happening is within a pouch or some sort of tract, a tube. And this is our digestive system or our alimentary canal. very basic design here or a very basic um, picture of the digestive system as well as all of the accessory organs. What exactly are the accessory organs? Well, they are not directly part of this tube, but they have some sort of important role in the process of digestion. So without them, complete digestion wouldn't be able to happen. So we have four. We have the salivary glands, which you will find in the mouth, and they produce the saliva. Saliva is a mixture of water, salt, mucus, and our first enzyme, amylase. Then we have the liver here. The liver is like the chemistry lab of the body, and it also um, directs things where it needs to go to. It tells it what it needs to do in terms of, okay, are we going to store this? Are we going to get rid of it? Are we going to convert it into something else? So the liver is where the fate of the absorbed digested material is decided. The liver is also the site of alcohol digestion and bile is also made in the liver. But even though bile is made in the liver, it is actually stored in the gallbladder, which you'll find right under the liver. And finally, we have the 
pancreas. The pancreas, apart from its role that it has in regulation of blood sugar levels, it secretes pancreatic fluids into the lumen of the gut. And this pancreatic fluid has enzymes necessary to complete digestion, as well as um, a base, which is the sodium hydrogen carbonate. And we'll see in a little while why this base I is necessary. So along the alimentary canal, we have four main functions happening. We have ingestion at the mouth, where we take in whatever food material. Digestion, digestion begins in the mouth and it ends in the small intestines. So we have the two types of di digestion, sorry, occurring in the mouth. We'll see that in a little while. Absorption happens once digestion is complete. And absorption takes place in the small intestines. This is the absorption of the materials that are broken down from digestion. And in the colon or the large intestines, we also have the absorption of water and salts. And finally, whatever material is not digested, as well as any dead cells and bacteria, it is ejected or gotten rid of from the alimentary canal through the ending point, which is the anus. So as mentioned, in the mouth, we have two types of digestion occurring. We have mechanical and chemical digestion. Mechanical digestion dealing with the teeth and the actual chewing and grinding of the food while the chemical digestion begins with that first enzyme, amylase breaking down starch into maltose. After we've um, chewed the food, with the help of the tongue and the saliva, it's turned into a bolus and this bolus is swallowed. It goes down our esophagus and then that food ends up in the stomach. So the stomach is this muscular bag where the food is going to remain for a few hours depending on the nutritional contents of the food. And here we have the churning activity due to the muscles contracting and relaxing, as well as the input or the secretion of hydrochloric acid and other things like mucus. This turns that swallowed food into a semi-liquid called chyme. We meet the second set of enzymes here in the stomach, which is pepsin and renin. This chyme then makes its way to the small intestines. And the small intestines, it's broken down into three parts. We have the duodenum, the jejunum, and the ileum. The duodenum is that upper portion or the first part of the small intestine. And we have digestion ending here and the beginning of absorption. Now remember those accessory organs we said? We have the liver, the gallbladder, and the pancreas at the base here. In the duodenum, bile is secreted to assist with emulsification, the breaking down of large fat globules into smaller ones. And then the pancreatic juices, this is released, one, because we need the base to neutralize the pH of the environment there because chyme is coming in with this hydrochloric acid. And once the environment is made neutral, then the enzymes that we would find at that point can now work because they are at their optimum pH. Remember, enzymes are very funny. They need an optimum pH or they need a specific pH as well as temperature to work at their best. All through the rest of the small intestines, we have the absorption of our glucose, amino acids, and fatty acids and glycerol, just as examples. We have that um, being absorbed into the bloodstream as well as the lymph our fatty acids and glycerol that go into the blood. And then whatever undigested material or material that was not absorbed, it goes into the large intestines. Now in the large intestines, it's broken up into three parts. We have the colon, the rectum, and the anus at the end. So throughout the colon, we have the absorption of water and salts. Then whatever material that remains is stored in the rectum and it remains there until the body is ready to get rid of it through the anus. 
So that's about it, the material that we needed to get going with the question. So this is our question that we'll be using today. We won't be using a question from CSEC. We'll be using one from Cambridge IGCSE. So we'll be looking at the very first question in that paper actually. And it's solely based on the elementary canal, all of the material that we just spoke about. So figure 1.1, this is the same thing from here by the way, I just put it side by side. So figure 1.1 is a diagram of the elementary canal and the associated organs. So A, state the letter from figure 1.1 that identifies the part where one, alcohol is broken down. If you can recall, we said alcohol is broken down in the liver. The liver is represented by G. Where does egestion occur? Egestion, getting rid of all of the undigested material. This happens at the anus. Hydrochloric acid is produced. Hydrochloric acid is produced in the stomach, which is C. Mechanical digestion occurs. For mechanical digestion to occur, we need the teeth. We find the teeth in the mouth. This is K. Silivery amylase is produced. Silivery amylase is produced in the mouth. This is A. And the among, or oh, sorry, the most absorption occurs. The most absorption occurs in the small intestines, which is the material from digestion. This is G. Next. Say the names of the parts labeled B and H. B represents that part of the tube leading from the mouth into the stomach. This is our esophagus. H, where is H? H is that structure right under the liver where the bile is stored. Remember? If you got, if you said the gallbladder, that's absolutely correct. Art list I Almost done. Finally, part C. To state the names of the three parts Art of this large intestine. Do you remember where water and salt are absorbed? If you said the colon, you had it correct. Next, where's the undigested material stored until the body is ready to get rid of it? Music you said the rectum, absolutely correct. And finally, the end or the exit from the alimentary canal or where this material is going to be ingested from. Starts with an A. Nice. So that brings us to the end of our very first session. Remember, this was the paper that we did, the Cambridge and GCSE, a 2021 paper, the very first question. So if you made it to the end, thank you so much for staying with me. I really hope that the information was, you know, you found it, um, great or you found it necessary or it helped you in some way when revising part or parts of the elementary canal remember we'll be here every tuesday so you can look forward to this you can feel free to share like subscribe also comment down below let me know what questions you may want us to do in future um, episodes of this series and if you want to check out our website for any information or maybe any queries or anything that will be linked down below in the description box bye